Today we're going to walk through creating a remediation plan and tenable vulnerability management. But before I get started, I want to thank Cybertar.ai who provided us with access to this tenable tenant. So thank you. Don't forget to go to Cybertar.ai and sign up for free comprehensive like cybersecurity services. And that's one thing I work at this company and this is what we do. We actually remediate your vulnerabilities. So I'm showing you what I, what I do every day on the job. You can get to zero vulnerabilities in most cases. So that being the case, let's go ahead and let's look at tenable vulnerability management. And so what you want to do is on, on the menu, click on menu and then remediation. And I'll go ahead and zoom in and make this a little bit easier to see. All right. So once we're zoomed in, let's move this over here. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to we're going to cover remediation goals and remediation projects. But if you can do the project, you can do the goals. OK, so the difference between the two is projects allow you to assign them to people and goals are just more like a task list, which you don't really assign to a person. Right. And so we I try to find additional di differences, but that seems to be it. So what you want to do is in the top right hand corner, you want to create our remediation a, a remediation project. You want to give it a name and we'll just type name here and you want to be descriptive. I would say be very descriptive in these things. Make sure you utilize these spaces to make sure that that nothing is ambiguous and make sure everybody fully understands. Once you do so, click next. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So I've got a little I got filters here. So the thing is, you do want risk modified is not equal to accept. And so what this means is that for certain vulnerabilities over time, what you're going to have is you may not be able to remediate them. And so you may work with your customer or yourself if you're if you're doing this to actually accept the risk on it. And that's what that means. Risk modified is not equal accepted. But in addition to that, you also may have a situation where you want to make sure you don't do informative, like because a lot of the vulnerabilities can have a status of informative. So let me show you this. So you can have recast, accepted, and not accepted or recasted. And in a situation we are always, almost always going to want to do is not equal to accepted. And then in addition to that, right here, you can say severity is not equal to info which means we only want criticals, high, mediums, and lows, okay? And this is just to clean it up. Most time people, you know, you're so busy dealing with critical vulnerabilities and highs that you don't really get to lows, okay? And a lot of, especially informationals, right? But in addition to that, we wanna do one more thing because if we do it like this, it's gonna show us vulnerabilities that have already been fixed. We don't wanna see fixed vulnerabilities. So you see we have 306 findings because it's showing us everything that's fixed and not fixed. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change the scope. Well, actually the, uh, what is it? State. I don't know why I can think of that. I should already prep for this video. So, and what we're going to do is click here and we're going to say, say state is not equal to. So we're going to change the operator to is not equal to, and then we're going to say fix and we're going to click save. And now once we save that, we brought our findings down to 107, but let's say if we want to go a step further, what if we don't want to look at anything but criticals, all right? So we can say in this situation, we can say severity. And so we got our search at the top. Let's see if we can just, all right, so severity, and it puts it over here on the right-hand side and I'll drag the screen over a little bit so you can see it. And so we just want to say it's equal to critical. And now we've cut our findings down to eight, if you see here. So this is the way you want to use this remediation plan to be very specific if you're looking for certain things. But we could go even further and we could actually go ahead and we could click the drop down box here and say plug in name, you know. And what we could do plug in name equals flash or equals Adobe or Google Chrome or content, you know, we could say plug in name and it puts it all the way over here. I'm going to have to keep dragging it over because I'm trying to stay zoomed. And you say it's equal to is not equal to exist does not exist contains. I'm a big fan of contains because say, for instance, if I wanted all Google vulnerabilities, if you use contains, then I can use like Google contains Google and it will find all of them related to Google or, or contains.net or something like that. If you use equal to, then it needs to be an exact match of what the name of the vulnerability is. Okay. So just make sure you note that. But in this situation, we're just going to look at the eight that are that we're trying to fix. Okay. And so once we do that, we want to click next over here in the bottom corner. So go ahead and click next. That's going to take us back here. And what we're going to do is we want to assign this to users. So the thing is, uh, I don't want to expose the email addresses of all the stuff here. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this quickly. So I'm going to pause and select. All right. And just like that. So the thing is, I didn't want to show all the email addresses for everybody that's in the console, but I chose this group that I have. So you can choose you, you can choose users or groups. So I chose technology interpreters, mentees as the group that I'm assigning this to. So keep that in mind. 
It's probably one of the best ways to manage it. Do you want to create a group for the remediation project? And then we can say start date. You can choose whatever date you want to start this. And then also you can say you can do I want to get, I want this done. I want this done in five days. You can put five days right there. Or you can say, I need this fixed by the 26th of this month. You can also select that. And then once you do that, you click save and then it will show your remediation plan. And there you go, it's a status of pending. But here, here's the thing. Once we started playing with this at work, we realized that there's another step. If you just go all the way over here to the right side and you can possibly right click on it too. So you can right click and you can do this, but also on here, you got this menu. And so what you wanna do is you wanna actually activate the project at this point and so you can have multiples of these but that is it for using uh the remediation projects inside tenable vulnerability plans if you have any questions drop a comment in the video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more cyber security uh, i'm covering threat and vulnerability and management now but there's going to be other topics like elastic that i'm thinking about doing in the future so stay stay tuned